Arbitec time and colour. Yes, hello, back again. Um, a short one, not much turning, colouring idea. Um, rainbow waxes, if you put them on, you can remove them with a little bit of reducer or acrylic medium, flow medium from Joe Sonia. So that got me thinking. Let's see if those thoughts were worth having. So here's what I'll be using, my Arbitec Mini Carver. When you weigh it up against my Proxon, which I've been using for the last five years, um, Mini seems a relative term. 700 watts of power to the Proxon's 100 watts. Two-handed grip, dust extraction, and a heavier blade, which is what I'm going to use to put a texture on technique you've seen me before on this poor old bit from a previous demo bit of wood bit of hmm, I think it might be some sycamore so I'm going to put a uh, texture on it with it spinning I'm going to give you two views in one of my new split screen setups there we go so you can see uh, how I'll be presenting the tool um, for this cut And I will, of course, be appropriately attired. Right, I don't want it spinning very fast. It's a little bit out of round. But it's just an experiment. So that's going at about 700. I think I'll try the dust extraction as well. Should have got rid of the dust first. So a bit of um, acrylic sanding sealer going on first of all. While that's going off, give the uh, ebonizing lacquer a shake. You can see how out of round it is as it's spinning. But as I say, this is just to see if this idea works. You've got to try things out every so often. Second coat gone on. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, just a little bit of information about the waxes that I'm going to um, be using, the rainbow waxes. I've got three different blues, an ivory, and charcoal although I would prefer if the charcoal were black it's it's a dark gray I really I don't know maybe I'll have to check the range and see if there is a black one although for today's purposes of course the black is being provided by the ebonizing lacquer and this is a half an idea at the back of my head it's my mother-in-law's 80th birthday this year she used to have a sailing boat called riot of blue so I'm going to do a platter, a riot of blue. I've, I've often done a blue platter rim, but um, this one's going to be exclusively, apart from ebonizing lacquer, in the waxes. 
I might mix a little bit of ivory in to suggest a bit of sea foam. But charcoal, thinking about it, I don't think I need that. If it washes off, as I'm hoping it will. So let's get going. You don't need to see my face, do you? Now I want to get this right down into the bottom of the texture. I don't mind if it's a bit thick. That's probably enough. Now it is acrylic based, so I can wash that, um, that color off later on. But for today, I don't have a brush for each color. Give it a bit of a scrub off. I don't want to contaminate the waxes with each other's color. See how this goes. So bright blue next. I'll just go in with one, one application from the from the pot okay with the blue is next and get some of the excess off. Need some more little brushes, I think. Put this on the other side. So the vivid blue, just put it in a few places and I'll come back and work it. Work it a little later. The intent is to bring some of the black back by cleaning over the top. This is actually an easier way to do it. I've just ordered some wooden handled eco-friendly toothbrushes for wax work. Then I can have one for each color like my airbrushes. So cleaning off solutions, kitchen roll, safety cloth, uh, Joe Sonia flow medium and water. And let's just try water to begin with. So I'm making this damp rather than sopping wet. And then we we'll just see how that works. There you can see it cleaning some of it off. Going back to the black, but keeping the lighter mixture of colors down in the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to leave that to dry off and then I'm going to come and give it a little brush and see if that will buffer shine up. And then I'll turn the middle out just so we've got a, an impression of a finished bowl. And while we're waiting for that to dry, here's a, a little experiment I did a little while ago, another bit of uh, reused blank. The problem with this reused blank was it was getting thinner and thinner and thinner. Now it's a palette. Um, 
or a, a bowl to um, cause consternation um, when you offer a finger nibble to your guests at your next banquet. Um, this was just red and gold, <laughs> two colours, and then the charcoal put on. And it does, you, it definitely feels different to paint. There's a nice soft feel, um, apart from the sharp edges where my thumb is hiding the hole. It's not a funnel. Funnels have a, have a, have a spout. It's a, it's, a, it's a clock mount. But I was really pleased with this. Um, it's had the charcoal put on, which is giving it the, the, the contrast look. But I would like some black another time mm, might get away with that now A bit of tear out like I said you can see it there coming on the other camera oh what a shame but this was just a quick experiment I don't know how long it took me 30 minutes I mean, you have to try things out sometimes to see if they work and that has potential a few things not brilliant with it don't forget it wasn't trued up I should have trued the face up but I was too lazy too impatient too anxious to be creative. Anxiety and creativity, I don't know. Interesting bedfellows. Um, looking very uh, blue in some lights, very shiny in others. The color can, can get a little bit lost. But you can see it picking up there. If I tilt it over, obviously you lose a bit of the color. Uh, but there seems, seems to be picking up in the monitor well. Um, if it had been a truer surface then probably would have avoided this this line here you see that as a little sort of uh, imperfection in the shape of the rim um not exactly as i had envisaged it but oh yeah, there's at least another five rim treatments in this poor little piece of sycamore. Anyway, hope it's given you some ideas for something to have a go at yourselves. Brighter colours might stand out. A bit more contrast colours in the bottom might stand out. The two that I've done. Um, of the two, which do I prefer? Mm, I think the eyes have it. No, they don't. Now they do. Oh. Anyway, thanks for watching. Can I offer you a thumb? <laughs>